Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Precious and I am a second year med student. So today I wanted to do a video on time management skills because um, being efficient with your time is so important in medical school. So if you do have good effective time management skills, that'll just help you out along the way. And I've gotten questions in the comments about, um, you know, how I balance everything out during first year. So I just want to give you tips on how I practice good time management skills. So my first tip is to get a planner and learn how to schedule. So um, this is the planner that I use. It's from um, Personal Planner. And this is just a little bit of like what the inside looks like. And for me, I map out a list of things I'm gonna do every day. And sometimes I also make um, weekly schedules more so like when it's getting close to um, exam week. Cause at that point, it's just so much to cover. And if you don't have everything listed out, you might miss some things or you might not just study effectively. So for me, having a planner is key, mapping out everything I need to do. And when I make my um, daily schedules, I'm very specific about the tasks that I need to cover, but I'm also flexible. I don't like um, scheduling 50 tasks, you know, you should be realistic. So using a planner and creating a schedule allows you to see like the big picture, especially if you do weekly schedules. Um, you know it allows you to allocate your time for maybe a certain topic or a certain course so at the end of the week you know where your time is going and you can look in your planner and see okay do I have time for this or do I have time for that you know setting that schedule really helps with that so I mentioned that the planner that I use is from um, personal planner and this is just like a glance at what a full week would look like of um, scheduling and so I have Monday through um, Sunday listed out of the topics that I was gonna cover. And this was getting close to exam week. This was back in April. Um, it was, we're on our neuro organ system. And yeah, so personal planner, like it allows you to go to their website and you create the planner that you want. And so you can pick the layout of it. Um, you can pick um, the color that you want. I got this and I got my name on it. Going back, if I already get another one of these, like when this one runs up um, in a year, I wouldn't put my name on it. I'll get a different design. But yeah, so you choose the layout, um, you choose the color scheme. Um, in the back, you can have either white paper or you can um, have notebook paper. So yeah, they have sent me um, a discount code. So using the code below, you can get 15% off. And I'm doing um, a giveaway. So if you head over to my inst Instagram, you can see um, how to enter the giveaway so you can get one personal planner for free. Also, one thing I like about it is when you choose the design that you want, you can um, customize like the bottom portion. So on mine, I put a tab for when I'll have exams and also put a tab for like a to-do do list for the week so you can um, definitely customize it to whatever suits you best and however you want to um, schedule things so invest in a good planner and learn how to make schedules so that you can effectively allocate your time and be efficient with your time you can really see like where your time is going when you write everything down so my next tip is to set priorities figure out what's most important to you and as a student, that's probably going to be um, making good grades and mastering the material. So you need to figure out what amount of time you need to set aside to be able to achieve those things. And obviously, you know, school is the most important, but you have a life outside of school. So how do you find time to manage everything else that you want to do? So just make a list of the most important things that you have going on in your life and figure out what you want to prioritize. So for me, this past year, um, I was a first year med student. I started making YouTube videos, I uh, joined a tennis league, I did shadowing um, in the emergency department on some weekends, and when I could I made time to hang out with friends. So just like a breakdown of each thing. So of course being a student is the most important thing. Uh, I have class uh, Monday through Friday, so that's five days a week, and outside of class I'd probably allocate four to five hours a day studying. And then next, um, so YouTube videos, honestly it doesn't take as much time out of my day or my schedule as people may think. Um, my, most of my videos are vlogs, so I'm just vlogging my school day, vlogging what I'm doing after school. So it's not like I'm setting aside a specific time to do different things for YouTube. You know, I'm just filming what I'm doing through the day. I think the editing would take the most time, but I just pick maybe one day in the evening or I save it for the weekend to edit. I'm not taking a huge chunk of my time to edit videos 
or if I'm doing a video like this, I would just do it um, early on a Saturday morning um, and you know, just minimize the time and the day that I'm using to film a video. And next, the tennis league. So I joined the tennis league uh, second semester of med school and that was just one day a week I would do the tennis match and I chose to do it on the weekends. So a few hours out of every weekend I would spend doing tennis. You know, that's something I enjoyed so I made time for it. And then shadowing in the emergency department, I did that during first semester. Um, you know, that would be a weekend thing as well. I would do it on a Saturday morning. So that was, I only did that one day out of the month. So just allocated some time for that. So once you decide what's important to you and where your priority are, priorities are, you know, you'll carve out time and you'll make time to do those things. But at the same time, you know, you can't, don't spread yourself too thin. And sometimes some things will have to be cut out. Like I couldn't do shadowing in the emergency department and do the tennis league at the same time because they both fell on the weekends so first semester is when I did the shadowing and second semester when the tennis league started I didn't shadow any longer so you know you have to figure out what's more important to you what you want to make the time to do and then you know you find a way to do it my next tip for effective time management is to set study goals and this helps me with um, efficiency setting study goals so say I already have my week planned out, I made my weekly schedule and Tuesday comes and on Tuesday's list is maybe cardiology and respiratory. So those are just general topics, but when I get ready to study for that day, I set specific study goals that I want to accomplish for each topic. So if I just had like cardiology and respiratory listed for that day, I mean, I could just be reading endlessly without real results. So by putting concrete study goals and making a list of exactly what I want to cover, it just makes me more efficient with my time. So on Tuesday, like I said, if I had a cardiology and a respiratory listed, at the end of the day, I shouldn't say, oh, I didn't have enough time to get to respiratory because I was on you know because I focused on cardiology too long you know if I set specific goals for cardiology I can do those and then move on to respiratory so setting those study goals just helps me with efficiency and productivity making sure I'm covering what I need to cover on that specific day so those were my tips for effective time management skills um, you know get a planner and set a schedule set your priorities and set study goals um, if you have any tips that helps with your time management, leave it in the comments below. I'm interested to see what other people do for effective time management. And if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.